Welcome to ProfessorSavings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Ray Fu Wong. Today's topic, what is Nash Equilibrium? Well, it's a key concept of game theory, and it helps explain how people and groups approach decisions using this kind of strategy. Another fact is that it's named after John Nash. The idea of Nash Equilibrium has been used in economics as well as other industry fields. The Nash Equilibrium refers to this, a condition where every participant has optimized its outcome. Now for instance, let's start off with example. Let's say that you have two bakeries here in a major market in a town called Sugarville. Now let's say Jane's Cupcake and Jill's Cupcake make 100,000 cupcakes at a dollar each and they make an annual profit of $50,000 just for money and example's sake. Now let's say Jane figured out that the market of a cupcake is bigger than she thinks it is so she makes 200,000 cupcakes each year and this reduces the price to 80 cents. She's doing the old undercutting trick. Now the profit would jump to 100,000 but the con is that Jill, the competitor, will execute the same strategy. So both people have to drop the prices to 80 cents. But now there are 400,000 cupcakes available in the small town of Sugarville. Now the result is that Jane's cupcake profit would be reduced to $45,000. Now remember, she made $50,000 before, but now it's only $45,000, which is a no good because both increased production but are making less. So in reality, Jane and Jill cupcakes are already what we call in Nash equilibrium since both bakeries could not make more money if they even increase production. So there's no benefit to this. Now this example shows why game theory strategists look at decisions to optimize profit. So make sure, be sure, and make sure the same thing that you subscribe to our Professor Savings channel and like and comment. Thanks a lot, Rafa Wong signing off.